Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the VacMaster Stainless Steel Wet Dry Vacuum. The unit has a 6 gallon storage tank and a 3 peak horsepower motor. It weighs 14 pounds. The tank is stainless steel and the rest of the parts are plastic. I bought this unit after my washing machine spilled water all over my basement and I had to clean it up with a mop and rags. We'll test the unit out and hopefully it'll save a lot of time and frustration when cleaning up water spills. It also works for vacuuming your car, driveway, and converts to a blower to clean up leaves. I'll show you all the parts of the vacuum. This is the on off switch on the power head. It comes with a 12 foot power cord, 7 foot by 1 and 1 quarter inch hose with air control nozzle that goes on the vacuum port here. This is the drain, open it to let the water in the tank out. This is the blowing port. There's a locking clip on either side. You can open it to release the head. It's easy to lock. The unit comes with two extension wands, crevice tool, two-in-one utility nozzle, a multi-surface floor nozzle, a round dust brush, collection bag, don't use the bag when vacuuming liquids, foam sleeve filter, a handle to carry the unit, feet with casters, six screws, cartridge filter and filter retainer. Don't use the cartridge filter when vacuuming liquids. And an instruction manual. To attach the hose to the vacuum port, push it in and turn it. To remove, turn it counterclockwise and pull. To use the floor nozzle, push the extension wand in, the second wand in, and attach it to the hose. Now it's ready to use. Press the button, press it again, and it retracts. To vacuum liquids, install the foam sleeve filter over the filter cage and place the power head back on the container. Remember not to use the cartridge filter or collection bag. Make sure the unit is turned to off before you plug it in. I have a 12 quart bucket which is almost filled to the top with water. We'll see how long it takes to vacuum. sucked all the water out of the bucket. If you want to try the VacMaster, I've put a link in the description below. Don't forget to replace the cap. After you're done wet vacuuming, put the filter back on before you dry vacuum. This filter can be cleaned by just tapping out the dust or brushing out the dust. This fits right into the middle. And just turn it clockwise to lock. Attach the handle with two screws provided. Use four of the included screws. This part just slides into the groove here. Push it down. And screw it in. It's easy to wheel from place to place. It's great for cleaning up the dirty spots in your garage. I like 
to use the vacuum downstairs in the basement and the garage areas that I don't want to drag my regular vacuum down to. As you can see, the brush picks up a lot of the hair and other bigger stuff on the carpet. So this works well. Master did a good job on wet and dry vacuuming and I find it's really useful around the house. If you want to try the Backmaster for yourself, I've put the link in the description below. I hope you found this review helpful. Subscribe for more reviews and thanks for watching.